There was this really big issue and the whole country voted and you voted the wrong way but how did you get to that point? You're supposed to be a good person, you're supposed to be a smart person. How did you get to a point where there's two choices and you chose the wrong one? Hi, I'm Dami. I voted to leave the European Union in 2016 and I've been very dismayed by what I've seen in the time since and I'm here now on the People's March for a call for the people's vote so that the people of the UK can change their minds and stay within the EU and do what's best for the country. I'm, I'm lots of things. I'm a young person. I'm a big cinema fan. I'm a big football fan. And um, I'd also say at this point that I'm a European citizen and hope that I can remain one. Um, and we'll see where we get with that. Morning of the referendum, I looked and I thought, well, what, what have I done? What is this? Um, but at that point, I was still okay with the decision. But it really kicked in when I heard more about job losses and about lies being told about where funding would come for the NHS. I think there's an intellectual honesty that uh, people who voted leave need to have and to say maybe they made the wrong decision. My main reason for voting leave was because I felt that it was wrong that the UK didn't have enough democratic activity in legitimising our role in the UK. Was it difficult to admit? I think um, acknowledging that I've made a mistake was difficult. It wasn't very difficult, but I thought it was yeah, I mean, it was hard for me to admit to myself that, look, what you've done is wrong on a, on a pride level. I'm not angry with myself. I'm, I, I'm, I wouldn't say I was angry. I'd say I was disappointed, maybe upset that I've been used as part of something that's not going to be any good for the UK. The, the knowledge that I could have been hoodwinked um, doesn't make me feel good. So, I think Brexit has been interesting because it's the first time, that's it, it's the first time I think I've really had to contend with myself that you have to actually reverse your opinion or reverse your position on, on an issue like this. It's easy to get the echo chamber where, you know, you have your beliefs reinforced by other people. So, people may not necessarily be being honest with themselves because they're being influenced by other people and they aren't exposing themselves to wider information. I wasn't, I, I wasn't nervous about coming out with the group or wearing a t-shirt that says um, I'm now a Remainer, but I am aware that there are people who don't like that message. Uh, and on the internet, I've got some comments from people saying, well, some people have cast doubt on whether I was ever a lever, which I find funny, like, I wish. Um, it's not just about getting on with things at any cost, it's about being honest with yourself and being honest with the rest of the country. Is this going to make your life better or not? And the information that we have now tends to say that, no, it is not. If I could go back, I'd say to myself in 2016 to not only look at what the different arguments about the issue were, but to be more critical in assessing the people who were on each side of the argument. Do you think you'd listen? Yeah, I, I think I'd listen to myself if I had that opportunity, yes.